What is going on, guys? My name is Rama back in from Moment Reviews here with another episode of reaction to Inspector. This is episode four, Idol Dies by Steel Beam. Now, last episode, we got a little bit of a bombshell. We got to see Saki again, and might I say she is uh, looking 10 out of 10 waifu material with the short hair, the business suit. I'm counting on a finger, you just can't see it. But we got the short hair, the business suit, the the uh, kind of a badass at the same time, like, takes no shit and, like, charges headfirst. Yeah, she's kind of waifu material material but kotoko uh also dropped the other bombshell that uh she was dating our main man and she gets punched by saki and it was a uh, quite interesting also i do want to really before i actually jump into the um thing i know people were talking about a couple a couple people in particular were saying that i should watch toilet bound hanako con hanako something along those lines um and in all honesty, the main reason why I'm not reacting to more shows in general, um, outside of the three that I'm doing, which is Inspector, uh, Darwin's Game, and uh, Science Fell in Love, so, Science Fell in Love, so I try to prove it, is because of time restraints. Um, I didn't, I wasn't even able to get to Flashback Fridays yesterday. Um, I literally went home, recorded my reaction to um, Science Fell in Love, and then did a couple things, and then I kind of went to bed. And started work the next day, even though it was my day off. Um, I I do want to just preface that, unfortunately, I am a normie now. Um, I am a working man. I work crazy amounts of hours, and I work a lot. Um, they keep saying that things are going to get better. Um, it never does. But I make good money, so I can't really complain. Um, and also, uh, that is the main reason. If I can get to it, I will. But for this foreseeable future... Uh, it's going to be a very, um, not as prevalent, uh, I'm not going to be as prevalent, um, and relevant, I guess you could say. I, I can't find words, um, with this whole reaction schedule, and I do apologize for that. Uh, but setting that aside, Inspector, as I said, um, I do, I'm really interested in the show, um, I still don't know how I completely feel about it, it's only been, uh, I, I I am curious as to people who followed the three episode rule, um, how the majority of people would actually find this show, um, how they would feel about it. I know a couple people in the reaction community, if they were to watch this, they're not watching this, but if they were to watch it, a couple of them would probably be put off with it. Um, and I think it's just due to the fact of the genre of this kind of show and there's nothing wrong. People like ha have their taste in genres. I mean, I like, um, some people like isekais, some people like comedies, some people like stuff like, uh, interspecies review. <laughs> <laughs> um, but more power to you guys. I I, I, I couldn't I couldn't bring myself to uh, react to that. Uh, but yeah, I'm curious to see what's gonna go on. I mean, we're going to begin in the continuation of the idol um, yokai. I guess you could say the one that's been pr really relevant. And I'm assuming her story is not going to end. Um, but if you think about it in chronological order, this actually this whole um, skit from what I've been told takes place before episode two. Episode two happens to be our episode two in the conclusion of episode uh, in the con in the continuation of episode two into episode three was actually after this arc, which unless I'm unless I'm mistaken, and which is odd though because like I said, the idol played a big role I would feel in the intro, so I thought it was going to be a main focal point. Um, but it depends on how long they decide to make this arc. Um, I could see this going for another episode maybe. Um, but we'll see. We're also going to see, I'm assuming, some more interactions between Kotoko and Saki, and that's going to be pretty interesting to say the least. And also, I hope they expand a little bit more on that point Kotoko made last episode when they were when she was talking about, oh, that hurt more than uh, just as much as my first time. I'm like, hmm, maybe they shouldn't gloss over that and expand a little more because reasons. But yeah, I'm ready to jump into this episode, guys. So without further ado, let's jump in to episode four of Inspector, starting in three. Two, one, let's jam. Okay, it's Kotoko and Saki in her apartment. Business suits, man, just. Mm.
You know, AI yeah, sense, yeah. I love that short hair, though. It's just, mm. <laughs> yeah, I have a feeling that, like, that it's not, they're not, they're not like that. <laughs> he looks, <laughs> he looks like he's about to die. <laughs> Yeah, she's also she's got three years on you, man. Man, you're just push like to push buttons. Instant coffee. I mean, he is human. He just happens to have a little bit... Damn, that was a fast. That was a really fast um, heating. Hmm. 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 Yeah, I, okay, so I'm feeling... <clears throat> I kind of feel that... They're not actually dating. They're just kind of like in a partnership with Kotoko believing that she's in a relationship with him. I am curious to see how Kuro's gonna see when he sees Saki again. This opening is still a, is a banger. I still think the best ending of the series, of the season. I am curious though, if there is a better ending, let me know. I'm, I'm only watching three shows this season, but still. It's jazz, and it's classy, how can you beat that? Let me know. Yes. The car. I mean, she almost did with that, with the car. The guy with the car that fell. I do like how they're showing that they are that the, uh, that a lot of other ghosts or yokai are just normal things. They're not they're not evil in any way. I like that. Mm. 
Mm. Did they get in a fight? I don't believe you. <laughs> that those lips. <laughs> I, okay, I love that. I love that the um the mouth thing. It's great. Absolutely, I love it. Yeah, yeah, that's not something. Uh, mm. yeah, that's a little bit of a. Something came oh <laughs> She's still like She lives in her own little head. <laughs> and then she's gonna be like, Well you broke his heart. You see that little blush? You see that blush? Mwah. Perfect. <laughs> she got a point. She's got a point. But you can tell that there's some there's some lingering feelings that Saki has. I'm I'm curious if this is gonna create a uh, trifecta of uh, problems. <laughs> I wonder how she would act now. I am curious. Now that she has a little bit more experience under her belt. There's something going on with Saki. You can tell. I wonder if, like, she hit her... By the way, for normal people, would they be like, there's a chick just sitting and flying? What the damn hell? Um, I can't... Yeah. I mean, goddamn, that's a very useful transportation. I'd be able to get to my work in less than two minutes with that thing. People, do, Some people do tend to get more famous after they die. I was about to say the same thing. Yeah, you're tall. Ah. The girl who breathes fire. How many years ago was this, though? Are we, are we getting an anime inside of an anime? It really feels like that. This is literally an anime opening. It's extremely generic.
Oh, it's a magical ghost show. Okay. I actually do... They actually made an anime opening for that. That's actually gonna... I mean, anyone who gets popular it will always have someone grudge against you. Anyone who's popular, anyone, it's because people want what they, what you have. Huh. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, that wasn't that... That wasn't that many steps, though. So that was probably the start of the, um... Decline of her... Self. Possibly. Hmm... <laughs> So the plot thickens. Oh, so there's a possibility that there's a, a dark side to her. But it could be that someone planted that. I'll be back soon, my dudes. <laughs> so, the moment she went on a, hi a little bit after her, her hiatus, she got uh, crushed. But the fact that she, okay, so she's obviously alive for revenge. So I'm guessing she's trying to get revenge on the people who've per, who maybe framed her. My guess, because I don't, I it kind of feels a little bit shoehorned in. I mean, it could be true. I mean, you've seen what.
So yeah, I'm I'm assuming what they're going to be thinking of, it's going to be an investigation, and they believe that the not that Nana say is trying to get revenge on the someone who killed her. I personally think that it's, it's, she's trying to get revenge on the people who are spreading the misinformation. Yes. I mean, that's if the uh, those spread rumors were true. Weren't true, I mean. <laughs> so it's just like a, yeah, just a, that's what I was thinking, like a puppet. The moment when she said that. Then she comes across it. That's the one. Another thing, the wiki. It's someone who definitely got enough look at her to see that. Wonder if it was him. I wonder if it was Kuro. No. I wonder if there's any other spirits that might know. <laughs> the manager? Mm. Why was she out in a construction site when it was raining? If it was nighttime and it wasn't raining, Tokyo Ghoul. Ugh. What if it wasn't actually her? I know. There's a lot of possibilities that could happen, and I feel like the show could be throwing it for a loop. It's the fact that her face was smashed and her teeth were gone, so there was no a available DNA thing. Maybe the sister... I mean, it's obviously Kotoko. But maybe it was the the older sister was actually the real body. Maybe because they're very they're very focused on the face aspect, and the yeah. <laughs> he looks nervous. Yeah, there's only one person that fits up, Bill. <laughs> <coughs> 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 
She did kind of punch her, so... <laughs> Proving my point. <laughs> Look at those thighs! Oh my god! Her thighs? Were thick! 15C is just thick! I also wanted to see what the older sister was saying about her, like, her statement. Because I, there's something else behind it. You should probably talk to the, uh, sister. Yeah. Not too big of a fan of seafood unless it's sushi. Hey, she 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 finished her food. It looks like. Okay, I lied. They probably don't, probably probably don't want to have the you know face. Oh, okay. I do like her. She's a little bit of a tease too. Oh, shoot, we're almost at the end. Oh, crap, I just realized the, uh, it's the credits. Oh, it's him. It's Kudo. But why? It's obviously him. Look at, look at, look, look at what he's wearing. He's trying to figure out, too. But why is he trying to figure this out himself? Of course, to be continued. Ooh. Oh no, are we not getting it? Are we not getting an ending? No! <sighs> Damn it. I really wanted to see the ending. The ending just makes me just jam every time i mean it wasn't really appropriate for this one the way it ended i mean they could have done it you could have done it inspector why you gotta do me dirty like that justice for endings justice for, justice for the ed but anyways guys what did you think about this episode i i had a feeling this was definitely going to be a full episode um and it was going to continue on to the next. I wonder how long they're going to push this. But like I said, there's a lot of theory crafting that could be happening. Um, at first, I thought, you know what? There is a chance. All right, hear me out. Hear me out. I'm thinking about it a little bit more, and, and with the information that's been on the table, she did kill the father. She did kill her father for the insurance money. Then faked her death. Somehow they swapped faces? She swapped faces with the older sister. And the older sister was actually dead. Because there was no... They were not able to get their full real DNA. Um, because there was no teeth. And the face was destroyed, basically. Um, and everything had just happened to be in the bag. Which made the investigators believe that it was Nanase. I think they swapped... Or she swapped places. But why? And this is the evil spirit of the older sister trying to get revenge. On her for basically doing all this stuff. But that is the, my prediction. The only thing that is throwing a wrench in it is the outcome. Why is she doing that and where is she now? 
like I feel like she wanted to be in the limelight and her doing this is going to going against that. So that is the big question mark. I feel like I might think about this on my own and we'll see what, how that goes from there. But yeah, let me know what your if you if you've seen the original, don't tell me what it is. I read the comments. Just don't tell me. <laughs> um but for those of you who are like me and are going to this blind, what are your theory crafts? I mean honestly, you could be a manga reader and just write down your own theory craft, your own, and it just so happens to be completely right. You can do that. It's up to you. But I prefer if it, there's no spoilers. And if you honestly are someone who like, oh, I actually have no idea, but here's my guess, let me know. I'm actually really curious. I think that that's the one good thing about the show, or one of the one of the f things, one of the many things that are good about the show. It, it gets my mind, m the mind's gears to turn and start theory crafting, which mm, I love theory crafting. Theory crafting is one of my favorite things in shows like this with the mysteriousness or um, a solve a case solving thing, which reminds me, I actually really want to watch another show of um, mystery solving. Um, the last one that I had a lot of fun with, um, well, one that comes to mind was, um, oh my gosh, her name is Victorica. Um... Oh, crap. There's a girl in, like, a black Lolita suit dress or whatever. Oh, man. I can't remember it. It's like Victorica. Victorica! Oh, man. What is that show? I, I, re I saw that so long ago. Hold on. Victorica? No. I don't, I don't, yeah, I, I had a feeling if I typed that in, it wouldn't be. Um, I, I'll, I'll look it up on my own time. Um, but that's one show that reminded me of, cause I remember watching that as it aired, uh, years, years ago. I think it was like 2012. I think I, I was definitely still in school and it was, um, airing and I was definitely still living with my folks. So I think it was like 2012, 2011, something like that. Um, the moment I, uh, I hear that name, I'm going to punch myself cause I know the name. I just, it's just drawn a blink. But yeah, anyways, guys, let me know what you guys thought in the comments description below. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching episode four. Uh, Hopefully I didn't get hit with anything. I'll see you guys next time. See ya.